In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Bubble Buddy. Bubble Buddy is a plugin that is available for After Effects, Final Cut Pro 7, Motion, and Final Cut Pro 10, and it can be downloaded from our website in a trial mode. I am in Final Cut Pro 10, and Bubble Buddy can be found in the Effects browser under the Sugar Effects Bubble Buddy category. There is a lot of different bubbles that can be used in this collection, and they all can be customized in several ways. Let's take a look at what we can do with them. I have a video clip in my timeline that I want to use for this effect. This is a night scene, and I think I can use one bubble that fits the personality of this video clip. The element is called Silhouette. The first thing I need to do is change its position and place it in the area that I think would work better for the effect. The on-screen control for the rotation is very useful. I can rotate the pointer to the direction that I want to point the bubble. To enter the text, I simply click on the Edit Text button and type it in, and change the font to something more fun. The bubble is too big, so I need to resize it using the parameters to control the size, maybe about 35. By looking at the parameters, I can see the several sections that can be customized. This bubble is using an outline with the same color selection as the bubble. If I select another color for the outline, I can see the bubble stand out, so I'm going to choose the same color palette selection that the text is using. The pointer is enabled, and if I pull down this menu, I can choose from several other styles. Let's try the Curve Pointer, and customize it. I can make all types of adjustments in here, or flip the pointing direction if necessary. The animation parameter is set to None by default, but I can choose the automatic built-in animation for when the bubble comes in or for when the bubble comes in and out, or I can just leave it to none and animate it manually if I wanted. I'll choose the in and out auto animation because I want to have the bubble pop in at the beginning and pop out at the end and customize its timing. The inner content of the bubble can be customized too. I can leave the current selection of text or use the image option instead. The drop zone below is here to use when you select the image option. I'll leave it in text mode and make the changes for size and position within the bubble. The plugin breaks the words automatically depending on the size of the text and the width of the bubble paragraph. But if I want the text to break in specific places, I need to click on the button to edit the text and do the breaks manually for better control. At the bottom section of the parameters is the palette of colors, and they are numbered from 1 to 6. Here the colors can be modified. This is very helpful when you are choosing the color for each of the bubble components, just like I did with the outline. In other words, if I change the color palette number 3 right now, then the color of the outline and color of the text will change together because I assigned the same color palette number to both of them. I'm happy with the results, and I think the auto animation works fine. You may encounter that some bubbles have additional features or different parameters, but they should be easy to understand. Let me just show you one of them. I'm going to use this gray color layer so we can see the bubble more clearly. I'm going to use the cloudy bubble. One button that I didn't talk about is the compositing mode located on the top of the parameters list. The compositing mode makes the video transparent and allows me to move this layer on top of other video layers and use it as the bubble just by itself. Some people may prefer to use the bubble effect this way and may be more versatile in certain situations. In the parameters list, his element has the optional parameters I was talking about. Here, there's an option to use the automatic shadow. When selected, the shadow will have the same color as the bubble. I can modify the depth and direction with the control point that is available here in the preview window. When the mouse gets close to it, the control points show the label indicating that this is the shadow controller, so I can move it with confidence and make the adjustments that I like. Back in the parameters, the other option that you have is to make the bubble a little fancy. When I select the fancy option, 
the automatic shadow is no longer activated and the fancy parameters can be used to customize it. There are three different fancy options. Try them out because every bubble has a different set of fancy options depending on the main shape of the bubble. I can apply a different color palette and control the opacity of the fancy element. As you can see, Bubble Buddy can give you many options to use whenever you are in search of a talking bubble or to display short messages in a fun and different way. My suggestion to you is to try and see how Bubble Buddy can help you in your next project by making your messages stand out and get noticed. Bubble Buddy is powered by FX Factory, so if you're trying out these effects and would like to get a licensed copy to remove the watermark, just click on the button at the bottom of the preview window to access the online store or to enter the registration code. For more plugins, transitions, or effects from SugarFX, please visit our website at sugareffects.tv.